Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Or if you're new here, please subscribe for all the latest and greatest Star Trek Picard news and other great sci-fi TV shows. So this time I'm looking at the trailer and a sneak peek for Picard Episode 7, which is entitled Nepenthe. We're going to take a look through the trailer, uh, look at some of the shots through there, have a look at the sneak peek scene, see what we can learn is coming up this week in Picard. I'm in over my head. You helped Picard and Synthetic escape. When I left Earth, I had a plan, I had a ship, I even had a crew. Now I've lost them all. Now tractor locked to a poor cube full of Romulus. They don't want us, they want her. This whole thing, how do I know it's not another game? You can't trust me. Hello, Will. So it looks like we're finally going to get some action on board this Borg cube. We've got uh, Hugh and we've got Elnor on the run. Nerissa's after them. She's obviously interrogating them. There's going to be a bit of action, I'm guessing, here on board the cube. I was expecting in the last episode, episode six, that it was going to be a bit more of a sort of a stealth infiltration mission. The crew was going to, um, you know, sneak on board and, uh, and, you know, have to find their way around the hallways of the cube until they kind of locate Soji. Elnor would be dispatching guards in a stealthy, sword-like manner in which he does. So I was perhaps a little bit surprised uh, in last week's episode that they got on board the cube so effortlessly in that regard. So it looks like in this coming episode, we're going to be getting a little bit of uh, on-the-run action, which will be good to see. We've no doubt also got Will and Deanna back again, reuniting with Picard. That will be great to see as well. Obviously, it's been a while since these guys have caught up, and it will really be uh, exciting to see that reunion coming up in this episode. So as the trailer begins, it looks like we've got a shot of a Romulan scout craft or fighter of some kind uh, leaving the Borg cube, and it looks like that Narek is piloting this ship from the, one of the shots we get in the trailer here. He appears to be in quite some hurry, perhaps now that they've got this information out of Soji in terms of uh, where Maddox's hidden base was, that he's off to locate it in some way. Or maybe he's out hunting down the last arena, maybe uh, the Borg are uh, locking onto the last arena and he's taken a fighter craft out to bring them in. Then we get a very tranquil looking shot of this uh, heavily wooded planet, which I'm assuming is Nepenthe. Um, there's a, another moon in the sky here. It looks like an alien world. Maybe this is the planet where Will and Deanna Troy, Riker, have their uh, holiday house. Interestingly enough, the Nepenthe system was first introduced in the video game Star Trek Bridge Commander but has never been seen on screen in any uh, TV episode or anything like that before. Next we get a silhouetted shot here of a uh, mystery archer in the woods which I'm guessing is Kestra Riker, uh, daughter of Deanna and Will who we've seen before in other trailer shots here with a bit of war paint, carrying a quiver of arrows and what looks like a compass or something in her hand. Initially I thought, who's this person in the woods with bunny ears? But uh, it's obviously just an unfortunate framing of where a couple of pine cones happen to be sitting behind her head. It does strike me as slightly unusual why you'd cast a blonde girl to play the daughter of two very dark haired people like uh, Will and Deanna, but anyway. Next we get this very cataclysmic shot of this gigantic explosion erupting on this planet right into space. It doesn't look like Mars. I thought initially it might have been a flashback shot of, uh, of the Mars synth attack perhaps, but the, uh, the surface of the planet doesn't look like Mars at all, so I'm not sure what this planet might be, but whatever planet it is, there's something incredibly devastating has gone on here. One of the images that uh, Rafi brings up on her console is one of these uh, sketchings that's been done by one of these kind of crazy Romulans in the uh, asylum ward or whatever that were there with Soji and Ramda. And it kind of looks like a little bit like uh, Soji and Daj's necklace. It's a, sort of a couple of interlinking uh, circles which sort of look vaguely... Uh, it's not exactly the same, but it's sort of vaguely in the same ballpark. So I wonder whether this is a kind of a reference to uh, 
the location perhaps, where they are from, maybe it's sort of, you know, it describes a planetary system with various different planets orbiting certain moons and so forth, and maybe is, is kind of like a, a hint or a reference to uh, the location that uh, Narek and Nerissa have been hunting for, where all these different synths happen to be uh, located. As always, guys, please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment on this video, and I will see you very soon for my next review.